we've had a double whammy. You know, one we obviously had the issue with the Brexit, and then we've got the this damn virus. So I think we we are in choppy waters. We're going to just have to really hold steady and you know get through these uh, tough times. And uh, I think as a nation, um, there's no reason why Britain will not be a success. Why we will not be the world leaders like we have been in the past. And I think in my own personal view, um, now that having left Europe, um, that you know, we can stand on our two feet. You know, Europe need us as much as we need them. And of course we can work with them as partners. We will work with them as partners, but moving forward, uh, I think there will be tough times for many, many months and years to come, uh, whether it be manpower, whether it be doing business with Europe or other parts of the world. Uh, it's, it's, it's going to be, um, it's going to take a while. Um, in, ter in terms of the problems and the challenges you're facing right now, describe them for me. You talk about construction sites. Is it about importing material in? Is that what's, what's causing problems? Yeah, in, importing materials in. Um, you know, at the moment, we're kind of in a slightly false economy uh, or false world because our normal business isn't there, Barney. So I can't really say to you, well, you know, look, I'm, I've got 80% occupancy in my hotels. And by the way, I need to have so many staff cleaning the rooms and cooking the food and serving the stuff, you know, the, the, the guests. At the moment, most, a lot of the hotels are either shut or they're running at 5, 10, 15% occupancy. So we're not really feeling the pinch at the moment, but over the coming months, once we start opening up, hopefully that's when we'll see some of the challenges. But what we have noticed already from a construction perspective, because we have got uh, a hotel, a, you know, a, a Fairmont at Windsor under construction. We've also got a couple of hotels in Gatwick uh, that are under refurbishment. And I think this is where we're finding that getting the materials. So for example, some of your bathroom tiles uh, uh, or other fittings that may be coming in from um, Italy or Spain or Portugal, and they're taking a lot longer. And that's something we all expected and we all knew that would happen. And we just have to work through it.